Hello guys, welcome to my channel Mystery Gap. Today I'm going to explain 2019 animated action adventure movie called White Snake. After years of meditation, this venomous white snake finally takes human form. But soon after that, she loses her memory and falls in love with the snake hunter. 500 years ago, chaos took over the Tang Dynasty as demons haunted the world. The emperor of the dynasty wanted eternal life, but his general was unable to do that. To earn back the emperor's favor, the general found another way. He forced the public to catch snakes so he could perform a special ritual of killing snakes to gain powers. One night, when the general is performing the ritual as usual, a female assassin named by Susan breaks into a palace to kill the general. The guards spot her and run to catch her immediately. While trying to escape, the assassin accidentally falls in the river. The next morning, she opens her eyes in a small hut that belongs to an old woman. Bai Sujin has completely lost her memory and can't even recall her own name. The old woman tells her that she is in the snake catcher villager and a snake hunter named Shu Xian saved her from drowning in the river. The old woman takes Bai Sujin to look around the town. All the hunters are entering the village and the doors closed afterward. The last one to come back is Shu Xian and his dog Dudu. Shu Xian has not caught any snakes today and he is more busy collecting herbs. Other villagers remind him that he needs to catch snakes to pay the village tax, but Shu Xian believes collecting herbs to make medicines is a better deed. Bai Sujin walks forward near the snake carriage and feels a weird connection with the reptile. Shu Xian notices and feels delighted to know she is doing better now. Bai Sujin mentions her lost memory, so Shu Xian decides to take her to the place where he found her. This may help her remember about her past. Shu Xian takes her to the waterfall and points at the stone where Bai Sujin was found. Du Duo excitedly runs towards the cliff and accidentally falls down. But Bai Sujin saves him with a magical spell. She can even fly and brings Du Duo back. However, she does not know how she did that. Bai Sujin flies to above the cliff and Shu Xian follows her too. They reach Shu Xian's workshop where he creates medicines. He is not interested in catching snakes but it's an essential part of the village. The forests are full of deadly snakes and demons. So the general ordered villagers to pay taxes by providing snakes. Bai Sujin suddenly gets a flashback of someone ordering her to kill the general. She gets confused and asks Shu Xian why people have to do the things they don't actually want to. Shu Xian believes that it's a part of life but he is learning different other skills like medicine so he can have more freedom. Shu Xian grabs one of the umbrellas he made but Bai Sujin makes it a flying umbrella with her magic. They grab on the umbrella and fly around through the beautiful fields and deadly forest. A snake tries to attack Shu Xian and he almost ends up falling down a cliff. Shu Xian grabs on a hairpin stuck in the cliff, but when Bai Sujin touches the pen, she feels a sudden shock and falls down in the forest. The royal guard finds her and recognizes her as the assassin who attacked the general. They were about to take her away, but Shu Xian knocked them off and saved Bai Sujin. He takes her back to the place, but Bai Sujin wakes up after having a nightmare. Shu Xian gives her the hairpin they found, and Bai Sujin believes she has some connection with it. There is a manufacturer symbol on the pen, and Shu Xian recognizes the workshop that made this pen. They have to travel out of town to reach that workshop. Meanwhile, the royal guards reach the snake catcher village to find Shu Xian and Bai Sujin. Moreover, the snake that attacks Shu Xian goes to his tribe and informs his master about Bai Sujin. She is also a snake who was sent to kill the general but lost his memory. Now, her tribe assumes that she has betrayed them and joined the human side. They request their master to punish Bai Sujin, but her sister Xiao Qing believes there is a misunderstanding. She requests the master to give her three days to bring back Bai Sujin and the magical hairpin. The next morning, they rent a boat to travel across the river. On their way, Bai Sujin mentions her mysterious powers and the possibility of being a demon. But Shu Xian does not care what her identity is. For him, the origin doesn't matter. He says that he would love to do even if he was a demon too. 
the dog also wants to say something too. So Bai Sujin gives him the ability to talk by using her magic. Shushan gets really impressed and wants to show his own skills too. He starts singing an ancient song and his heart-touching voice makes the surroundings more beautiful. He teaches the song to Bai Sujin and they sing it together. This is one of the best moments Shushan experienced in his life and he starts developing romantic feeling for Bai Sujin. Their journey gets interrupted by a mysterious boat traveling their way. It's a demon from this snake tribe that comes to kill Bai Sujin because he believes that she is a rebel. On seeing someone from her tribe, her power wakes up and Bai Sujin turns into a giant white snake that destroys the enemy. She immediately faints after the battle. Even after knowing that she is a demon snake, Xu Xian does not leave her alone. He takes her to a nearby temple and lights a fire to keep her warm. Bai Sujin's body has turned ice and she is trembling continuously. Xu Xian hugs her tightly to keep her warm, even though he is freezing too. He spends the whole night like this and risks his own life for Bai Sujin. When she wakes up the next morning, Dudu tells her how Xu Xian struggled to keep her warm. Bai Sujin feels sorry for him and blames herself. When Xu Xian wakes up, she asks him why he is not scared of her, though she is not recovered her memory. It is confirmed that she is a demonic snake. Xu Xian replies that he has seen many people who are not demons but they are still evil. So it doesn't matter who Bai Sujin is. Xu Xian will stay by her side till she recalls her past. Once they start feeling better, they continue their journey to the Jade Workshop. The owner is a young girl named Bao Ching Fox. She remembers Bai Sujin and takes her to the secret basement where she crafts jade for demons. The hairpin Bai Sujin has is a rare weapon that has the ability to absorb powers of others and give them to its master. However, such powerful weapon come with a price and in Bai Sujin's case, it could be her memory. Bao Ching also reveals that the hairpin had another owner before Bai Sujin. She gives them a snake scale that belongs to the first owner of the hairpin. Just by looking at the scale, Bai Sujin can guess that the first owner was really powerful. On their way, they notice someone proceeding to first them. It's no other than Xiao Ching, who wants to take Bai Sujin back to their tribe. As soon as the two sisters hold hands, Bai Sujin recalls her name. She was given the hairpin and the mission to kill the general. He is using the same dark kung fu the snake uses. Therefore, he kills the snakes to absorb their power to increase his strength. Xiao Qing notices Xu Xian and recognizes him as a snake hunter. She tries to attack him, but Bai Sujin gets in the way. They get into a nearby temple, and Bai Sujin explains that Xu Xian is different from others. Moreover, the villagers are forced to kill the snakes, and they don't know the evil intentions of the general. Xiao Qing reminds her sister that they grew up hearing that all humans are cheaters and snake hunters. Saying this, Xiao Qing attack once again. Xu Xian grabs Bai Sujin and gets in a nearby opening. It closes afterward and leads them to a hidden tunnel. They reach the center where a mysterious force grabs Bai Sujin. She is attacked with several fire blows. Xu Xian looks around and notices that the gates have an ancient pattern. One of them is the gate of life that will take them out. He rescues Bai Sujin and runs out of the gate of life. They reach another part of the tunnel that looked like an abundant temple. Xu Xian leaves Bai Sujin to look for an exit. Bai Sujin starts reading the stone tablets and recovers all of her past memories. Xu Xian has found a way out and they reach where Xiao Qing is. Bai Sujin has accepted her fate as a demon and decides to part ways with Xu Xian. They are not mean for each other. But Xu Xian believes that even though they are different creatures, the feelings they have for each matter more than anything else. He does not want to give up on his love so easily and asks Bai Sujin to give him some time. He will find a way to stay together with her. Xiao Qing advises her sister to forget about Xu Xian and move on. The death scale on Xiao Qing will kill her if she does not return to the tribe within a day. Meanwhile, Xu Xian goes back to Bao Cheng Fox to ask for her help. There is a way for the couple to stay together, but Xu Xian has to turn into a demon. He will lose the peace and safety a human gets, and everyone will try to kill him. Moreover, he will become the weakest demon, and there will be no chance of advancement. Despite all these consequences, Xiao Xian still agrees to the deal. All he wants is to unite with his lover. 
Meanwhile, an uninvited guest breaks into the temple. It's the wise general who was sent to capture the snake sisters. Pao Ching and Bai Sujin combined their strength to knock down the wise general. But they didn't know that the wise general had also learned the dark kung fu. He uses her powers to capture the two sisters. He tries to catch the hairpin, but Bai Sujin grabs it from the other side, and all of the wise general's power flow to Bai Sujin. Chu Xian reaches the temple excitedly but finds it completely destroyed. He then notices the nearby village being destroyed. A huge demon has done this all, and it's no other than Bai Sujin. Chu Xian meets Xiao Qing, who tells him that Bai Sujin has turned in a huge python. He is heading towards the snake catcher village to kill the general, but the innocent villagers will also get killed in this war. Moreover, the snake tribe has also decided to attack the general. Meanwhile, Xian goes to evacuate his village, but no one takes him seriously. They notice his demon tail and become his enemy. The head general reaches there and listens to Shu Xian's request. He lets him go to stop the python. Shu Xian rushes after the white python and tries to stop her, but she keeps running away. Xu Xuan assures Bai Sujin that he will keep loving her no matter who she is. The world is really big and they will find a corner for themselves where they can live peacefully. The snake starts to calm down but then she suddenly gets attacked by the general and his force. Xiao Qing also reaches to help her sister but fails. The general is sucking out the souls of three demons to attain immortality. But he accidentally absorbs the death scales Xiao Qing had. This weakens the general and while he is trying to recover, he gets attacked by the snake master. The battle had to head with their demonic forms. Bai Sujin breaks out of the trap and joins the battle. Meanwhile, Xu Xian grabs the hairpin and gives it to Xiao Qing, who presses it against the general's back. All of his powers flow to the snake master and he falls down on the ground lifelessly. Xiao Qing returns the hairpin to her master, but she has changed her mind. She has decided to do the same thing that the general tried to do. She absorbs the soul of all the demons and they become snake again. The snake master turns into a two-headed python. Bai Sujin rushes to stop her but the evil master starts suffocating the white snake. Chu Shan comes back to save his lover and turns on the spell left by the general. All of Bai Sujin's power are sucked out and now she is just a mortal human. She can finally live peacefully with Xu Xian. The spell has brought a snowstorm to kill the snake master, but Xu Xian and Bai Sujin also suffer from the consequences. Dudu convinces the villagers to rescue Xu Xian, but it's already too late. Xu Xian's body is completely frozen and his soul starts to drift away. All of his memories reply in front of Bai Sujin. She cries in pain and attempts to save Xu Xian with her hairpin. However, she could only save his soul, and in exchange, she becomes a snake once again. Bai Sujin meditates for the next thousand years to regain her human form. She lets Xu Xian's soul to reincarnate, but he will definitely not have any of his past memory. However, Bai Sujin is still excited to meet Xu Xian. He does not recognize her, but feels a connection. It's the same love with that new story. The movie ends here. Thanks for watching. If you like it, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel.